everybody, this is Michael DeJoya, Director of Institutional Sales here at Gas Trader, and um, I'm picking a particularly fast time in the market. The close of the day, here we are at just about 3.08 on a day when the S&P gapped up and traded all the way down. And the S&P is the one that we're looking at as we learn to configure our order entry screen. So right here, this is our market montage. Okay, and a market montage is generally not a market montage unless it has a time of sales. And I'm gonna put my time of sales right here next to that. And I'm gonna move this over. I'm not gonna make the, the fonts too big, although I've made the font size a little bit bigger and I'll show you how to do that so that you can really see your level two data. But I'm gonna leave my time of sales right there so we can see the market as it's selling off. And you know, you got your buttons on the bottom here, you got your short window, you got your cancel, you got your buy button, and the market's moving really, really fast. But I want to show and feature some of the order entry capabilities that the Dash Trader Pro platform has for trading a fast market, as well as to plan a trade and look at various different um, order templates or order configuration templates and how you access them and find them. So the first thing you do is you get different options when you right click at different sections. So if you go on the level one screen and hit right click, you get nothing. If you go on your level two and you right click, you get remove sticky quote, level two config, and layout config. I'm gonna to go to layout config in just a minute, but let's first go down here to the OES screen. This is the order entry screen, OES, order entry screen. And I'm gonna right click, okay? And now I get route configure, order template, trading settings, and style. Style is the one that I'm gonna bring up here, okay? Um, we also have layout configure, but I'm really not gonna cover that today. I'm gonna to click on style again, and I'm gonna show you something that many people do not know that they have in the Dash trading platform, okay? OCO, what does OCO stand for? Order, cancel, order so you choose your account okay what whether you want to do a buy action you've got a bunch of different options here um, on your oco you got buy sell and sell short you have the symbol you have to configure your share size or p stands for position you can choose what route right and what kind of an order type it is stop limit or market the price the time in force, which is day plus, extended, et cetera. You want to do what kind of a stop it is, whether it's a stop market or a stop limit, the trigger price, or you want to put a trailing stop order and then which type of route you want to preference. So that's the OCO order template box. Okay, and if you want to configure an OCO order, you just check the box, you right click in the OES, and you bring up the style, which is OCO. Another one you have is a, tri uh, a trigger order. This is a way that you use a stop order to entry, uh, enter a trigger to enter a position using a stop order, okay? And the stop price is effectively the trigger price. So okay, here's the stop type, just calls it trigger price. And then if you wanna use a trailing stop, you can put a trailer price as well, okay? And obviously you have to make sure that the route and your broker allows the, the use of these types of orders, but this is how you would configure them, configure them using the Dash Trader platform. Now, if you're gonna be trading options, we've already covered this or we will be covering this in an upcoming, um, in an upcoming uh, session where we talk about how you can trade get options using the Dash Trader Pro platform. And, um, and certainly you have things like buy to open, sell to close, and it's all configurable in your OES screen and your OES screen style. Next one, okay, we're gonna do um, the details OES, which has a lot more information in the OES screen than you normally would have, okay? And the one that I use most is the um, default, which has just enough information, it keeps your screen nice and clean, we also have our other uh, OES one, which is very commonly used, which is for a stop order, which is, is totally good, uh, has a buy button, a sell button, but it just gives you an extra box for your stop type, your trigger price, 
and your trail So it's got a little bit more, if you're gonna be using a lot of stop orders, you might wanna use your stop order OES. Now on the market montage, this has all the different exchanges. Now the one thing different about the equity market is that you have multiple different exchanges in the equity market. Um, and some of those major exchanges are INET, okay, which obviously now you're just looking at the INET order book, okay, so it just took all the other ECN information and exchange information out. Now you're clicking, looking at the ARCA book, and then of course we have the, uh, uh, the IEX market, which is, which is a much thinner market. So what you do is you can look and see at all of the individual markets, or you can look at the montage, which is the combination of those markets together. Okay, so we've gone through the different types of OES screen layouts. Now what we can do is we can create an order template and the order template allows us to create an order type for the market that we're trading on. So we can create a default for the New York Stock Exchange. We can create a default for the NASDAQ, a default order type for options, for futures, for the Toronto Stock Exchange, a pink sheet so that you have a default order route for each of the markets that you might be trading. And I'm just gonna look at the New York Stock Exchange. So I'm not gonna, I'm not a, gonna take a huge position. I'm gonna do 100 shares, which is a marker lot as my first order. I generally like to use limit orders as my default order type. I'm gonna choose a default account. Here's my default account. So that's my default account. Time and force is gonna be a day order and I'm gonna hit apply. And now what I've just done is I just created a default order route type for the New York Stock Exchange. Now if I'm gonna be trading NASDAQ stocks, I'm gonna be trading 100 shares and I'm gonna be using limit orders because I don't like to pay uh, the market price for anything. I'm gonna select my account. Here's my account. And now I have my uh, default order. I'm gonna hit apply and then that saves that for my default order template. Now let's say I'm trading pink sheets, for instance. Oh my God, those risky pink sheets. So I'm trading my pink sheets, but you know, pink sheets are cheap. So on pink sheets, uh, I'm gonna leave my share size. I'm gonna make it a little bit more, I'm gonna make it a thousand. You guys look, the market's really rapidly going down. And that's why it's really making a big move down here at the end of the day. But I can then set up my order default as a pink sheet um, to 1,000. Oh, well, I don't wanna do a million, I wanna do a thousand. Okay, so there it goes and I'm gonna choose my route. I don't have any, okay, so I'm gonna do a limit order. I'm gonna use my limit route. And then I'm gonna do my time and force, which will be day plus. And I'm gonna set my count. Okay. So, all set, I hit apply. So now I've set my default order type on pink sheets as well. All right, so now, once I have all my defaults set, I'm gonna go, go to quit. Okay, I have all my defaults set. When I'm trading that particular security, I don't even have to think about it. It just comes on up. Now, I can also add exchanges and routes, okay, by configuring my route configuration box. That's gonna be a topic of a future event, but you can have lots of different routes added in here in your Dash Trader Pro platform. So you, it's totally configurable to whatever route your broker has set up. Um, but you can configure and add routes uh, as needed, uh, and then they will then show up in your pull down in your order entry box. Now, we're not going to be covering this today, but if you go here to the top of your screen and you go to the top and you go to setup. Right there, it's under setup. Go to hotkeys. You can also, and DAS is phenomenal um, with setting up hotkeys for your trading platform. 
So you can create a, a tremendous amount of hotkeys. Um, you got a whole bunch of pre-configured hotkeys. Um, so you can set up, you know, hotkey to bring up your weekly chart, your monthly chart, all different um, types of hotkeys that are pre-configured um, to various different keys on your platform. You could also create hotkeys as you need them, custom hotkeys individually for, for all kinds of different features and functions. And um, Gas has one of the most configurable hotkey setups. That'll be a, a topic of a future session is how to configure your hotkeys for fast active trading using the Dash Trader Pro platform so that you can quickly and easily trade very fast markets like today. And remember I said that, that the market was moving real fast and probably gonna make a move to the downside and here we are watching it now. So when you know there's gonna be a fast market, it's really worth taking the time to know your platform and pre-configure all of your order entry settings so that you can really profit from a fast moving market. So on that note, I hope you found configuring your order entry um, uh, window and your market montage helpful. Stay tuned for a future uh, presentation about configuring, individually configuring hotkeys for trading fast markets. And if you wanna learn how to continue to use your Dash Trading prop platform so that you can profitably and effectively trade the market, and obviously I can't teach you how to how to, which stocks to actually take, but I can teach you how to use your platform so that it is a very, very effective tool for your trading and to execute your trading plan. Um, but I am gonna be focusing on, on trading related elements and using the platform for optimal trading, et cetera. So on that note, um, stay tuned. Our last video of the series is on trading options. So not, certainly DAS is not a platform that just can trade stocks, it trades stocks and options. And we wanna really show you how to, how to use DAS to trade the uh, trade options. So next video is all about options. But today, I hope you enjoyed how you can see and use the DAS trading uh, uh, platform to configure your various different OES windows specifically doing uh, order cancel orders, stop prices, and, uh, and, and order trigger order prices, uh, which are very, very advanced functionality using your OES window. So on that note, hope you had a great trading day. Trade well, everybody, and look to see you in our upcoming videos. If you have any questions, always feel free to email me at mike at dashtrader.com or certainly subscribe to these, uh, these videos. And, uh, and of course, um, uh, stay tuned for future uh, videos and other series related to the Dash Trading Pro platform. Thank you very much, have a great day.